I'm Adam Beasley, and this is your Miami Herald Dolphins report. Say, so how do you gain 233 yards with your first string offense, 14 first downs, and get only three points? Here's the answer. You turn the ball over twice in the opposition territory. First, Deion Sims had a costly fumble, and then on his last throw of the night, Ryan Tannehill threw an awful pick in the triple coverage, had a cover two, uh, basically did not see a, a receiver running free underneath, forced it to Brian Hartline, and that was it. Finished 119 yards passing, his worst passing effort of the, of the preseason, quarterback rating in the 50s. Uh, in short, it was regression for an offense that had shown a lot of good things in the first two weeks. Uh, lost in all this is the Dolphins actually won the game 25 to 20. Uh, the, the, the reserves played very well. Again, Matt Moore was excellent. Uh, led the team on three touchdown drives, negating a pick six that he threw. Uh, so he has absolutely solidified his place as the number two quarterback. Uh, he's probably actually playing the best of any quarterback right now. Of course, it's against backups, but he, he's been really sharp this preseason. Naturally, Ryan Tannehill is going to be the starter. Uh, they still feel like they have a lot of capability with this offense. They think they're going to run the ball better. They did tonight. They ran for 200 yards. I think the reason was the return of Nosham Moreno, first of all, made his debut as a Dolphin, 19-yard carry his first time he touched the ball. Uh, and then the Shelly Smith for Dallas Thomas, which at right guard seemed to work as well. Uh, the, the, the Dolphins played a lot more physicality, were able to run the ball consistently. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, same as before, Pretty good production out of the pass rush. Two sacks by Cam Wake, another by Olivier Vernon. Uh, their corners are covering well. Uh, and their linebacker, even without Koa Misi tonight, tackled well. So I think we saw a lot of good things out of that. Dolphins can finally cut out of those, those turnovers. They had one last week and then two tonight with the first string. If you can cut those out, they have a chance to be pretty good on both sides of the football. One last preseason game. It's on Thursday. Then after that, cuts. September 7th, the opener. We're getting close. Preseason's almost over. Thank goodness.